I'm Uli Beery, and you're watching Trackway Memories. <laughs> Dragway Memories. I'm Bill Richards. And I'm Rob Potter. And thanks to Ross Martin, we're back at Cayuga Dragway Park for some funny car action. What do we got here, Bill? Well, we're waiting for the funny cars. We've got Miss Dragway Park there. And here comes a burnout of Joe Giacono, former Big John Masmanian car. Ran that car for many seasons successfully. Tom the Mongoose, number 713, out of California. We had the greatest funny car meets at Cayuga back in the day. We sure did. Anybody who was... Anybody was there. If you were a funny car fan in southern Ontario between TID and this track, yeah. you had them all covered. Bob Pickett in one of Mickey Thompson's Grand Ams. They had several bodies. At least two of them got burnt to a crisp. Bill Levitt, Quickie 2... Long-time campaigner, low-buck guy, always did well. Never was the fastest, never the slowest, but he usually kept his stuff together. Put on a good show. And was rarely on fire. Raymond Beetle, now in partnership with Harry Schmidt, Harlan Thompson, and the Phillips and Shores Fireball Vega. Strong runner, Harlan Thompson lives in the UK now and drives nitro cars for hire in Europe. Great crowd. Blue Max, iconic. Not having an iconic run here, Not though. Not having a good day, no. Up next, who is it? That is none other than the snake himself, and uh, believe me when I tell you, they paid a premium to get Don the Snake Perdome to come to any facility. Maybe Bruce Mellenbacher can uh, tell us how much he yeah, paid him. Yeah, if everybody else was getting three grand, Snake was getting four or five thousand yeah. to show. I've seen some of the contracts, and you're right, Bill. You're absolutely right. Yeah. This is neat, Tommy neat. Grove in the last uh, Setzer funny Vega. car of Barry Setzer. And they ran it with various different combinations, including Ford Power when... Uh, the contract was running out, and he had a few dates left. He put an old SOHC back in that Vega to complete his booking contracts. I think he actually won this race. He I won one of them. I think he did. He yeah. won one of them anyway. Yeah. Here comes uh, Miss Dragway Park. And uh, perhaps Bruce Melbacher can tell us a little about that. There's Marine and John Fenn's car. Bill yeah. loves that car. I love that car. It's an actual 70 car converted to 71. 446 pack original Hemi Orange car. His brother Dave had a black one. Al hey, Sagrini, another guy that was at the track Division One driver. He was. These guys spent uh, quite a few time in uh, Canada too. Yep. Donny and Fullerton. Donny the money guy. Larry Fullerton the Driver. Driver and tuner. Can't remember the business Tony's family had, but it was enough to finance a competitive funny car operation for many years. Digger Yates in the Jungle Gym go-kart. Making a little bit of a, an appearance there. And now this is a little bit earlier in time. A this little a different funny previous, car meet, probably yeah. Probably 73. The frantic Ford and Bill Levitt and the Quickie 2 going at it. Pee Wee Wallace and the Alabamian of Billy Holt. Beetle. This is earlier because he's still working for Don Shoemaker in yep. the Red Vega. Got the money he earned for working for Don Shoemaker to buy into the Blue Max one year later. King and Marshall in their satellite. Division One hitters. 
We were blessed to be in Division One. Absolutely. Very strong fuel, funny car, top fuel. And Super the stock, one, stock WCS comp, modified. It. We had them all. Uh, it's like a mini national event. It was. It was awesome. Swenson and Lanny. Laying one down. Nice one. Jungle Jim? No. 142. We think it's Jake Crimmins, perhaps. It could be Jungle Jake Crimmins. Pete Hill and the Hill Brothers. Did very well with this car. Low budget. They kept it together. They were a force. And they're not going to take that one. John Paxson and the Armor All Rocket Powered Machine. We'll finish up with this for this uh this episode, Bill, this was one Hydrogen amazing car. Side. Scared the daylights out of me when he went pop. Virtually noiseless until that crack. And uh, they're now outlawed. Many, many people lost their lives driving those things. See you again next time.